a pleasant day everyone welcome once again to our lecture for today so today uh, I'm going to show you some examples on uh, finding the derivative of a function using the uh, theorem of constant multiple rule okay so we will have this constant multiple rule constant multiple rule okay so we have a theorem that if you have a function a function of x equal to a constant k times a function of x so to find the derivative of this so we have f prime of x is equal to constant times the derivative of x so this uh, hyphen here is a uh, stands for derivative or give us uh, an information that it says this is a derivative so when you find the derivative of a constant multiplied by a function of x so you just uh, isolate the constant and then just take the derivative of the function function of x so for example example number one if you are given say for example a uh, function of x equal to four times x cubed okay so the solution we have f prime of x is equal to so from the rule you just uh, isolate 4 which is the constant then find the derivative of x cube so it means that you have to have this the derivative of uh, x cube uh, x cube then you have here a symbol x so meaning the derivative of a function with respect to x so this is equal to 4 times so if you look at this this is uh, in the form of u to the n or x to the n so we can use the power formula here okay so using the power formula oh, power rule so we have uh, the power will go down okay three all right then you just multiply it with the base which is x then the power so you have power t then minus one so therefore this is four times three that is twelve and x to the power 2 so this is our derivative of a constant multiplied by a function of x okay so this is an example of a constant multiple rule another example so by the way this is our example number one so our example number two if you are given h of x function of x equal to five x squared okay so you're asked to find the derivative of this function function of x five x squared 
So our solution here is similar uh, to what we have done above. So we have a very uh, few steps. So derivative of the function of x is equal to. So we have here a constant. So you separate that constant. Then you have the derivative of x squared with respect to x. Okay, so again, this part here, uh, we can apply the power rule. So 5 times from the power rule, you just uh, get down, get this 2 down. Okay, and then multiply this with the base, which is x. Then our exponent is 2, then minus that by 1. So equal to 5 times 2 is 10. Then times x, x to the power 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. Or your final answer will not bear the exponent. So th this is understood to be power 1. So this is our derivative of... Uh, of a function function of x okay so is it clear another example example number three so if you're given uh, g sub x equal to negative 3x to the minus 6 so you're asked to find the derivative of this function so our solution so okay so this is our next uh, example so our solution here we have the derivative of the function equal to so we have here negative 3 that's also a constant so you have to uh, isolate that one and then take the derivative of this so derivative of x to the minus 6 with respect to x so we're taking the derivative of this part here with respect to x so equal to we have minus 3 then from the power rule so the power will go down minus 6 or so bring that down the power then multiplied by the base which is 6 oh sorry x then our exponent or our power minus 6 then minus 1 so this is minus 3 times minus 6 so that is positive positive 18 x to the power minus 6 minus 1 so minus 7 so this is our g prime sub x okay so we have another example so let's take this uh, last example for this part for the constant multiple rule so if you are given say q sub x or a function of x equal to say 8 x so negative 3 over 5. Okay, so our solution here, we have the derivative, so q prime sub x equal to, so again this is constant, and take the derivative of x to the power negative 3 over 5 with respect to x, so equal to 8. So we have here the power negative 3 over 5. Then you have x to the power minus 3 over 5 
minus 1. Okay, so this is uh, 8 times negative 3, 24 over 5. So negative 24 over 5. Then times x to the power, what is minus 3 halves? Oh, sorry, 3 over 5 minus 1. See, 3 over 5 minus 1 uh, is equal to. Okay, so let's calculate uh, minus. Minus 3, 5, 3 over 5 minus 1. So this is equal to. So this is understood to be over 1. So find the LCD. So 5 divided by 5, 1 times negative 3. Negative 3. Then 5 divided by 1 is 5 times negative 1. So negative 5. Correct? So 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times minus 3, minus 3. 5 divided by. 1 is 5, 5 times negative 1, negative 5. So this is equal to minus 8 over 5. Right? So finally, our answer here is uh, minus 24 over 5 to the power or exponent negative 8 over 5 so this is our derivative of a function okay so i hope this is uh, uh, very helpful to you class and i hope that you, uh, you understand more about this constant multiple rule All right so thank you very much and hope to see you again in the next uh, part of the uh, video uh, for another rule all right so have a nice day uh, keep safe and healthy bye bye